Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another cursor auto build map. That's right, this is the last one that's officially a tagged cursor with auto build in the text as we've already done V1.1, we haven't done that one. But let's give Creeper auto build strikes back a go. Um, control AC with cursor help auto build to nullify the enemies. That is right. Uh, it's going to take some time of course to gain our power. That's the one problem with the auto builds. You know, they're going to try and build everything. Uh, so, yeah. What do we have here? We have a good amount of units. I mean, we can see they're pretty well placed um, around the map. Looks like it's pretty dense in places and things like that, which is great. Again, one the only problem with so many units is it will take a lot of time to build them. So we are going to be at a sort of building stalemate standpoint. I don't know exactly how you want to put it. Um, but that being said, that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? As long as we can sort of keep ourselves together we're pretty good uh we have five emitters each doing 50 every 0.5 one two three four and five one right here that's gonna be probably our first assault point um and we have nullifiers in pretty good places uh what's also nice is there's a nullifier below and above down here up above it's just on the right side which is where you'd want it up here it's in the bottom right side which again kind of where you'd want it and down here what's really nice is we can see beacons on the outside in multiple locations so we can really surround this we don't actually have to go through one specific point that being said once we get down here this is probably the first beacon that's going to happen so you know it's not like we're not likely to just hold down here although is that a connection point that might be a connection point so we could probably sneak around take this and sort of work our way up as well that's a possibility i haven't even thought about that until this very second but let's turn on our map indicator of course Mwah. we have that drip drop of ac right there and what is our goal right now so i don't know how fast this is going to spread now i would love to get to here before this i don't think we can um, I definitely want to take this. I would love to take this, but if we're trying to get up there, I don't think we're going to go for it. But let's just see what we got. All right, let's turn on. Let's turn on our little breeder. Now, unfortunately, it takes a few seconds for it to kick on. And there we go. So now we're good. We're on the move. We're building stuff up. Come on. Come on. Now, our goal, I don't want to necessarily go down. So I want to I wanna move around this, but not necessarily go down. The AC will spread down there naturally. It's just going to happen. Ooh, it looks like we're actually moving pretty good now. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we're moving pretty good. We're moving pretty good. We're not going to make it in 30 seconds. So that is a thing. But I think we're going to make it there first. So we did make it here, which is great, right? Now the question is, do we hold this, right? The other thing is, I just want to take a quick, tiny detour down here, right? We, we just want that to breed as well, just to sort of protect ourselves. And I'm just going to try and hold this. I don't know if we can, uh, but we have 10 seconds to hold it. So I'm just going to put as much AC here as possible, right? Uh, just get this going. Because, yeah, I mean, the more we can just hold naturally, the more we can prevent them from breeding, uh, the better for us, right? Now it's breeding out, which is great. Uh, we don't necessarily care about pushing, we just want to keep this area held, right? We just want to make this area ours, make it safe, so to speak. Um, and if we can just keep this, like if, if this breeding is enough to hold itself for 30 seconds, that's huge, right? That's immense. Um, again, we're in an incredible deficit, and you know me, I love my deficits. I'm very good at getting in deficits. However, uh, problematically so... I'm also bad with uh, AIs in deficits. It's sort of a thing that they just sort of do uh, for me, problematically. So I'm sort of watching, and it looks like it's it's going to maintain itself. So I'm going to try and sort of just reinforce these areas that are already starting to build. Because, again, it it, it is going to take a lot of power to build these up. But thankfully, the more space we have, it is prioritizing building towers first. So we are still gaining more power than we're sort of losing, if you want to look at it that way, right? Um, because, yes, it will take longer to build everything, which is true. But it will also just give us more power, which will take less time in the long run, right? Um, and again, we don't really need to push right now. We just need to establish our base. Uh, we just need our base to be fine. Uh, because once we're once we're good with power, like these will build up, this will build up, these will build up. We're gonna be we're gonna be built up, 
And we can easily take out this first emitter. And once we take out this first emitter, it's quote unquote all downhill from there, right? Um, because then this sec the second emitter is on the hit list because we've taken this. Once we can cut down here, we can cut over to the other side. It's I mean, we have huge pathways available to us. We just need to get the power, get out of this, get everything built, unfortunately. Uh, get out of this deficit, deficitu, and yeah, just uh, move our butts, move our butts. So, uh, down here, again, ooh, we're actually getting some cannons almost built, which is awesome. Um, as you can see, these are finally almost built. The first, the first cannons on the block uh, looks pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, they're still not at cap, either, which is a thing to note. Um, they are not at Creeper Cap yet, so we will have to contend with that for a while, which is okay. You know, it's understandable. Ah, yes, see, we're starting to build this whole area. Once they have power, they're not going to shoot. They don't care about shooting. They don't need power. They're fine. So, we just need to keep this defense going. Right? Just keep it going, because our deficit will steadily, steadily drop. Uh, and then we can start the pushing. Ooh, baby, you know it. We're going to be pushing so hard. It's going to feel so good. Um, and it'll give us some more cushion, right? It'll, it'll be a nice little AC cushion for our pushing. Um, and yeah, I mean, we were able to hold. Feels pretty good. I'm glad we were able to take that as well while uh, this was able to sort of fend for itself. Um, I think I should just be doing times two speed probably at this point uh but you know i'm i'm a little bit of a well I'm, I'm a little scared of it it makes me spooked uh because i'm like ah what if i can't react in time and i lose like this important cannon uh no Ooh, see like we're, we're losing down here but things are starting to shoot the actual creep which is awesome we're out of a deficito holy moly that's what we need Okay, this is perfect, right? We're out of the deficit. Um, that's now built, which means that's going to push. This is going to push. These mortars are coming in, and this is what we wanted to see, right? This area is getting built up, which is fantastic. Um, we're gonna we're just going to drop some creep up here and let it sort of spread out, because I don't want, like, this tower going anywhere right now. Uh, I want to I wanna really fill things in. Now, one thing that does suck with a lot of auto builds is as you can see there's a couple of pylons here but there's no pylons to down here there's no pylons to the top it's sort of it's like intermittent piloning right maybe it's piloning across the middle of the map something like that so power will never get to the far reaches that quickly um and as we remember the nullifier was on the right side of this emitter which again is perfect it's very well placed look at that, that nullifier is right there that's all we care about um, we can literally just sit here, nullify away, which is awesome. And then we'll be able to be on the move. That is right, of course. We want to be on the move. We want to get our butts in gear. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> you, know, you were the super cannon. You were the chosen one. And there we go. We got a cannon down there. Cannon. Foam buddy kicking off. Okay, gorgeous. And once this is offline, we should be able to easily get to the tops over there. Uh, once we get to the tops over there, we can move on. It's just everything is coming up us right now. Everything is coming up us, and it feels real good. That nullifier is just about on. As you can see, we've actually pushed this front line even while that was on, so that's pretty huge for us as well. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to the tops of this mountain over on this left side, the bottom left side, um, because you know, hold your tops, hold your tops. It's always a great place to have. They'll be able to rain down more tear hell. Uh, and yeah, we want to we want to get some of these tops, right? We want to. We want to hold them because once you take them, once you hold them, once they're yours, it's pretty, it's a lot easier to keep it, right? It's a lot easier to keep it. Uh, we want to take this breeding zone, that breeding zone, and the emitters before we move over to the other side. Although, although I will admit we are kind of at a, a crossroads because we're at Creeper Cap now, right? Um, being at Creeper Cap is pretty huge for pushing, right? It allows us to sort of push anywhere we want with significant ease in comparison to what we could have been pushing against uh, because they're not producing as much. Oh, okay. We're at 4.9 out of 5. I assumed that was going to hit 5, 
Uh, it's still it, now it's five to five, but it hasn't actually turned off yet. So maybe we're not actually at like the supreme cap. I guess we're pushing hard enough that we're, like just keeping them at cap, like just the edge of cap. So not necessarily the best for us uh, in terms of strong pushing. Um, but pretty good for us in general, because now we can just take this, we can take this. Let's just get this breeding area out of the way. Oh, uh, now it's breeding right now. No, we're taking some of it. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. We're getting the tops of these other hills, which will hold this very well. Because as you can see, there's a mortar just about done. And now we have this breeding area. So, yeah, we're just, we're just doing pretty good overall. I mean, there's really nothing bad that I see happening at this point. Um, I could be wrong, because we're going to take this next top. It's literally right here. So again, hold your taps. Um, I wish there were more pylons. Oh, I guess there's a pylon right there, which is pretty nice. That actually does help quite substantially once that's built. Um, because again, we want to just build things up quickly. Quickly. Speed. Oh, wait. Ooh. Stay. Stay goofified, right? Stay foamed. Uh, the more things we have foamed, even if it's not something that we need, it technically does increase our power ever so slightly. So, I, 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 like, I like power. I like power. I, I can't lie. Um, how is the top doing? Yeah, see that top line? It's just holding. It's just holding real nice. Um, I believe this one had an emitter on the top side and the bottom side. It's not necessarily on the right side. It was like down here or up there, which is fine. Um, we're going to be pushing towards the bottom because we want to hug our walls, make our malls work for us. So, yeah, and the pylon system actually comes down here. So the, this being in the pylon network is actually pretty nice for us. Uh, we're going to just cut this off, try and get a cannon or a mortar over here so we can use that to keep this push going, right? Uh, did we get anything? We got a canon. Not going to complain about a canon right there. Uh, let's keep it going, keep it going, get, get me something else. I know, I know this is, like, where it is. It's, like, right, like, right there, I think. Um, I was trying to pay attention. Alright, that's a Kanan. Alright, that's a, okay, double Kanan. You know that's where the good stuff is, right? They're putting the double Kanan right next to that nullifier to protect it. There it is. So we got the nullifier. We know where it is. We got double cannon going down. We got a pylon going down. We got a cannon in the bottom going down. This should be just just easy days at this point. Um, so this is this is gonna take this out, which essentially means the bottom half is ours now, which is great. Again, they're under creeper cap. They are still under creeper cap, which is honestly kind of a a shame like we never got to experience real creeper cat pushing which is fine it's just kind of a surprise right usually at some point you will get creeper cat pushing where they're at cat and you're just like oh we can mow through stuff this is so easy but i mean it's actually not that bad i don't know if our cursor is stronger because we held i mean i think because we held so much land to begin with we were able to push a lot harder than normal at the start of a map um, not to mention we have some pretty good AC breeder zones. So having those zones is allowing us to push harder as well. Um, for instance, we're going to go for this next breeder zone. Um, I am pushing this to the wall right here. Just so we cut this off and this area will naturally die out. Um, again, it's just more land for us. It allows us to uh, expand faster and better. And I think there's going to be some like mortars and things over here that'll just shoot across to the other side. And I definitely want that, right? We definitely want that in our life. So it's breeding right now. So we have to fight a breed. But I'm just going to go straight for this breeder zone for the next 30 second cycle. We're at 20 seconds to go and we don't have very far to move. So I think we can get there. I think we can get there. We just have to get through that little wave right there. It's coming right at us. Uh, we just we just got on through. Now we aren't necessarily gaining ground, as you can see. Like everything we took is lost. But the breeding zone is mostly ours, and it's breeding right now, which is huge, 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 huge. Right? It just bred. This zone is ours, and look at the right side, right? The right side is now just super dying off. There's nothing that it can do, and we're going to keep this zone for one more cycle. One more cycle should be enough to really seal the deal here. 
Um, that's that's really what it is, right? This cycle is going to be huge for us. Um, right now, in three seconds, two, one, breathe. Yes, there it goes. And you can see on the right side, it's just opening up, right? It's just it's just a just open for us now. Uh, it was free, and now we're getting all the power in here. Now we're getting the units in here. It's just gonna fall apart. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was very, very good. If we can get these units in, it'll hold itself very, very nicely. And yeah, we just want these units. One more cycle will definitely seal the super deal, so to speak, because all of these, all of these will get built. They will be able to start fighting back whatever is fighting us, which is primarily coming from down below. That's I really want to get this cut off down here, and that, it breeding right there allowed everything to get built. So. I want to I wanna hold this, move this down, keep our cursor over here because this is where most of the creep is now coming from. Because it's where the creep is actually generating, right? Um, it's, this has two emitters on the left side and some breeding zones we definitely want to get through. Uh, and look at that. See, they are shooting on the left side, which is awesome. And if they shoot enough, uh, if the mortars do enough work, they might actually get that area to start breeding for them right now the reason i'm keeping my uh, cursor here above all else is i want to get some defenses right at this choke point which will be these two mortars and that canon uh that'll be some good choke point defenses so there we go they're almost all done choke point will be good and you can see that one emitter just can't handle what we're doing right everything is just sort of pushing in naturally i don't even really care about that emitter I mean, I do to a degree because it is a lot of power to help us push the harder zone. Um, I am intrigued. If we were to somehow leave this here, could we get, like, even though it disappears right away, could we, like, spark a breed? Uh, I just don't know how that works. It doesn't quite look like it, unfortunately. And you can see it's it's far too deep, right? Far too deep. Um, unfortunately, you can see how strong that center pillar is, even with this going up. Uh, let's just take this out real fast. Let's just take out the emitter. Let's not worry about the rest. The rest will die off to the AC, of course. So let's just move our butt in here. Clear it up. Get this emitter, because it'll be fast, and it'll just get us a lot of power. Then, you know, we'll also have mortars shooting the other side from the from the island and stuff. So there we go. We'll just, we'll just sort of chill here. This will take out this emitter, and then we can finalize the rest of our assault. Uh... There we go. Feels pretty good. I want to get the cursor as close to it as possible. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to turn off the text, like when you hover over something, because I would love to be like right in the center and just be like, no, you produce nothing. Nothing. Uh, I actually want to completely cut it off, right? Because if we completely cut it off, it feels real good. Because then the rest does just die off. Yeah, there we go. Don't reinforce the back. We want you to be done. Uh, circle the star. That's what you got to do. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got to love it. And there we go. I am just doing this, again, just, just to get that power. You know, it's going to be taken in time, but I, I'd rather just get it now. Uh, again, we can get maybe a sprayer and a mortar shooting down there. Maybe that corner will be good for us eventually as we drain the other side. Because, I mean, the creeper cap is just going down, right? They're 3.7, 3.6. It's just going down. We've taken this entire side. There we go. Uh, cut it. No, 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 no. There we go. Beautiful. All right. We cut it all the way across. And now we need the decision, right? We can go to the top or the bottom. Uh, the top has one breeder zone. The bottom has two. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, I think that sort of answers our problem, right? We have one breeder zone versus two. Uh, no questions. No qualms. Uh, and if we don't have a lot to push, this is gonna be, this is gonna be rough, right? As you can see, we're barely holding it. Honestly, even one mortar, I don't think is gonna do it. It might be sort of sneak assault. Sneak assault? Sneak attack? Be sneaky. Be the ninja. Um, I am building this up because it's there. Um, but I want to see if we... If we sort of hug this edge. Let's see how we do. Because I think getting that breeder zone down there... With the support that we have... Might be everything we need. 
Uh, because again, it takes away a breeder zone from them, gives us a breed. Yeah, see that one mortar is not able to just hold it by itself. Um, it would need more defenses, which it would be nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, but having a couple of mortars down here with our AC, with everything pushing, I assume power can reach. And if it can't, well then I'm making a terrible, terrible mistake right now. That's the key. All right, we need to we need to really be down here. Right, we need to move our butts. Uh, because we have a couple of mortars, right? You can see there's a couple of mortars. There's a couple. I wish the cannon was a little bit closer to shoot across to the other side, too. That is a little bit of a shame, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we just want to get some power over here because there are units down here, right? And we know that there are um, beacons on the southern side. So to me, that's sort of like, yeah, this is sort of your southern assault point, right? We start to take this. Uh, we have cannons and AC shooting over, which is great. We get this to breed for us right now in eight seconds. And I think this may be how we start our assault. So, because we're basically assaulting with the same units we would have before, right? Um, we do want to take the entirety of this breeding zone and hold it for sure. Push it all the way to the corner. Because, again, hold your corners. Your corners are your biggest friends. And we have 10 seconds. So get that corner. Move it on back. Take this back. Yeah, see, we do have power. So we have power now, which is awesome, right? Uh, we are breeding, pushing out. If we're going to start to get some units over here and expand. This is all that truly matters, right? Uh, hold this down. I'm hoping that there's a unit or two right here. This flat area. And it doesn't look like it. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, this could be a mistake. Oh no, what a mistake to make it. Um, we are actually draining the creep substantially. Holy moly, they're at 1.8. That is terrible for them. Right? Um... And look at that, the front area is actually pushing, because I think we are just draining so much. And we're, we're keeping them from reinforcing from this zone. So I think it's sort of a, a... It is still a victory. It's not the victory that I was expecting, because, yeah, we've uh, we've just sort of taken them out. Not necessarily... Again, I was hoping for, like, two units there. I didn't remember. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry I didn't remember. Um, let's, we just need to find some units and I think, I think we can, we can push to the tops here. Maybe we can find a unit or two. I know there's beacons. I know they're here. I know there's beacons up there. Uh, but units are what we want. We want things to shoot. <laughs> we want things to actually win us the game. The Gamu. Um, make sure we hold that. Yes. Okay. We got our first unit for our backdoor assault. Our sneaky, sneaky assault. And they're down to 1.3. So, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, you can see we're actually holding this comfortably now, right? We're actually expanding down here. We're going to take the entire bottom side, uh, which will give us just that buffer. And we can we can just start moving up, right? We got three canons, uh, which is huge. Those three canons is basically all we need to survive at this point. Um... Yeah, that's, that's just going to be good for business right there. Plus more blue white. More blue white means uh, our, our sprayers can actually spray better. Uh, because they were having a, they're having a hard time. I mean, let's just say that. Our sprayers are not necessarily doing the best. Uh, and yeah, another canan. That canan is, again, huge, huge, huge. Uh, because, again, if we can just hold this bottom, uh, we can hold the entirety of it, right? That mortar is great. It's just going to help. This canan is perfect. And we're going to move our butt around. We're going to grab the other breeder zone. That's my goal. My goal is to have this bottom be sit, be stable. And then for us to grab the breeder zone. And then the map is, I think, one at that point. Again, the map is mostly one already. Um, as you can see, we're, we're able to sort of hold this uh, very, very well. Uh, this is just pushing out naturally, which is wild. Uh, all the tops of the of the hills are being taken care of because, or drying up because the creep is so low. It's down to 0.8. You know, we're actually moving in very, very strong. It did just breed, but look at this. Like it just, this area just bred. 
and we're just sort of eating it up, gobbling up this AC. I'm not going to hug the walls specifically here. I'm going to do sort of a little angled assault in uh, because I'm going to let the power of my supremely awesome cursor just spread to the wall there, right? Uh, as you can see, we sort of spread to the wall, and yeah, we've taken this breeder, which is sort of their last hope, right? I mean, we're basically at this emitter down here. We just took their biggest emit, uh, breeder right there. We have a beacon in their backside, poking out their uh, emitter right there. And yeah, there really isn't anything left for them to do. So I think from our perspective, we need to start working on the top side, right? Uh, while I say that, I am just going to do a little bit here because, you know, in this bush, uh, if we can if we can just cut this off right there, that feels pretty good to me. The nullifier is almost online, which is great. I just want that for that purpose. There we go. So we're just going to move on up. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, this edge is super thin. Uh, so we can move up this super, super easily. We can grab the last breeder zone that they have and just encircle this, uh, this last emitter. Um, thankfully, for us, Bazinga. Still don't have enough AC. Still don't have enough AC. I guess going up to this top side does provide you more blue white. Because uh, there's two nodes here. Maybe that's enough to fill up all of the sprayers on the map. Uh, that is one thing to note when building a map. Uh, sprayers, they eat up a lot of AC. So if you want to include a lot of them uh as like auto build and always on and things like that you you do need to provide a certain amount of supply for them uh it will take plenty of uh ac there but hey you know it worked out pretty pretty well um bazinga bazanga we're just cutting this off cutting it in half right there do like cutting it like that, but realistically, what I should be doing is something like that. So there's always a tower being built in the direction that we want to move and then cut because now we have that tower, which gets us that nullifier that much faster. I'm assuming this, yeah, the south has been completely foam partied up. Uh, and yeah, this is, this is it. Oh no. How can I do this? Oh wait, there's somebody see the right there in the corner. Yeah. Take it back from the corner itself. Oh no, the nullifier. No, 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 no. Uh, the tower no 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 how is this how is this bad boy doing so well look at that uh get out of here get, get this mortar online because this mortar will be able to shoot directly i believe i'm assuming and if the mortar can shoot directly it's just gonna be sort of the super death knell of course um let's cut that off ah we got a canan yeah there we go who are you shooting mortar where are you shooting? Yeah, just shoot the emitter directly. That's what we want to see. Uh, okay, it's just out of range to be able to shoot all the time. It can shoot most of the time. Um, and the nullifier is on. So the cleanup crew has been met. Um, I did like the southern assault that we did. Uh, I'm not saying it was perfect. Might have been better just to stick with the frontal assault. But I think it worked well. I think it worked well. Let's just clean up the rest of the map because you know, we're we're so close to done. Yeah, might as well. Let's do a little bit of painting down here, a little bit up here. Let's get it all surrounded. We'll just cut off this corner because, again, you want to just snip them in half, right? Snip them. Uh, there we go. So this has been Creeper Auto Build Strikes Back. Let's see how we did. Again, I feel pretty decent about it. Um, maybe, again, maybe coming down here instead of just pushing this front was a problem although i will admit like the front pushing to here probably would have been good like we pushed there getting that cannon would have been nice um but then it's sort of a dead zone right a little bit of a dead zone so i don't know i don't know like i this was a big dead zone now like i wish there was like a cannon here a cannon here and like a mortar there that would be perfect but let's see what we got uh how did we do we did 25 minutes uh 2536 not bad you know not bad there's definitely better but you know what not bad i'll take it i'll take it had fun uh thank you very much for making the map i hope you enjoyed please leave a like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and i'll catch you next time take care